cool. But we did get a pretty cool victory. We have a pretty cool team. Welcome to Wabi Gaming, the place where gamers grow. So we've got a juicy war against Deadly Justice League. So the last time we faced off against Deadly Justice League, we did lose by about 70, 80 coins. So that's a few months ago now. So hopefully we can do better at this war. So we're off to a strong start, but that's more because we've done a lot more attacks than them. They've done five attacks, lost one, and we've done 31 attacks and lost three. So don't know if that's an attack in progress or if it's an actual loss, but we will have a better idea in our second round of attacks of how this war's going. I think base number one is an easier base, so we'll leave that one alone. Looking at base number two, there's an Iltron on Tabora, a Wang Zhao shield on Shelly, and a Masher staff over here. We're going to head over and look at number four. So number four, Nicole, there's an Iltron mask on Tabora, a Wang Zhao shield on Shelly, and over here, there's a Pump Seed staff. So I think I have a team that can face off against this quite well. Looking at the speeds here, 24-7 to Bora and 24-3 Nahane. What I'm going to run is I'm going to run a super fast Black Feather, 2700. And Black Feather is going to run Flying Spirit, which is going to let Ragnarok with Anticipation get a turn. And Ragnarok is going to turn transfer over here. And Talasa doesn't have a lot of damage skills. All of her skills are just going to put Mega Freeze on over here and also Trait Disable. And then Black Feather will do Curse and will win with Curse and Dots. So that's fine. We will do Flying Spirit on, I think, Shelly. So I really just wanted a turn over on Ragnarok here. Extra turn over to Thalassa. And then Thalassa can get to work. Remove the Mega Taunt. Remove the traits. I probably should have trait disabled first, but that's okay. I just want to cycle through. The monster I don't want to get a turn is actually Tabora. So I think I may have stuffed up here. Tabora getting a turn, he's likely to remove all of the freezes. And there's a tough here and a hardened here. All right, I'm going to run my... I'm going to take a risk here and I'm going to disable on the honey. All right, we've got a mega freeze off, so we got lucky there. Curse to all because we will win through dots. Oh, we've got an ult. Heavy magic damage, disable trait, and applies possession. Do we need to run that? I do need to run that. It was either that or possessed, but I will do the ult. I will drain some stamina there, but I have but I have Haney's amulet. So if someone does get stamina drained, I actually want it to be Black Feather. The only danger that is Nahane, so I'm going to do this. Freeze header for everyone. Positive effect remove. So we're just cycling here. And let's make a freeze again. I do want to put a curse on Tabora. Tabora does not have Mega Frozen, so I will possess you. Recharge. He's still got two turns of freeze, so I'll just recharge. I am running low on stamina here. Let's put a Possess on. The Tabora will die from Curse. Let's have run again. Mainly for Tabora. Okay, so Shelly got an ult and he gave us the ult. But that's cool. Take that Shelly. And Mega Freeze again. So I'm not sure how safe this was in hindsight. I don't know if we got a little, little bit lucky, so I'm not sure if I'll run this attack team again. Cool, but we did get a frequent victory. We have a pretty cool team. Okay, so looking at number two, Kasha, there's an Iltron on Tabora. There's a Wang Zhao's on Shelly. So we will run Jazzy Mask to counter this with Steam Wrap. And over here, Mash's Star. This is all when the turn starts and when the turn ends. So as long as Masher doesn't get a turn, we're fine. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to enter giveaways. Row in Monsterwood Gem, Stardust, Diamond Relics, Race Monsters, Legendary Wars. So we are going in with Steam Wrath Ferris here. Steam Wrath 2586, 24, and 24. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Jazzies over here to counter the Wang Zhao. And then we're going to kill this guy and leave the Bora for last. I just want to use get my jazzies triggered. Okay, so it's not going to work on Shelly, but I can kill Shelly off. 
And you can see I still got 500 stamina. So there goes Shelly, and now we'll start working on the Hane. So Pump Seed stuff is more annoying here, but luckily he's running Mash's stuff. So there's the rest of our stamina, and you see we're back up to 800s. Now we're full stamina. This is where we will lose a bunch of stamina, but as long as I get a second turn, I'll be fine. There's Ultron's Mask, so we do have enough stamina, so this is going to be an easy win for us. Cool, so easy free coin against that team. And let's see what team I have left. I have a 140 Nahane. Ondana can positive effect remove if I can get him fast enough. And then there's a lot of options here. I've got a Tabora left. So I think Tabora Varapapu seems like a good combo. And this last one is really just a team speed holder, so it can be anything. Let's put Lupo because of the Uriels. So whether Varapapu goes in or someone else will depend on what traits they have and what they're immune to. Hardened, immune to stun, tough, immune to stun. So Hardened and tough did not go well for Varapapu. We're going to skip through all these Tabora and Hane bases because Steam Rack Ferris can take those down. And we're going to head over to number 9, Zeki. So Zeki has a Kadama. No stamina draining here unless Kadama gets a turn. The Roim's on Shelly, so no stamina draining there. And Talon is over on Hardy, so no stamina draining here either. All right, so 26 and 25 so super fast versus 25 5 25 7 on Barapapu so I do outspeed Kadama and 14 and 12 Fate disable so positive effect remove on Shelly and then Barapapu can do either stun or freeze because they're not immune to both stun and freeze so this should be an easy win let's fight remove the mega taunt and we'll do a stun And we've also got stamina draining on. First. Freeze. And no more stamina for those guys. Oh, we actually got a turn with this guy. I didn't even check his skills. Reverse healing to all. Remove positive effects. Let's do that. So we can stun them again. And but that's for some more dots. Quicksands, I'm not sure if he'll kill or not. So I'm going to do one of these. Charge. Let's get rid of Hardy. And now we just need time to get rid of Shelly. Let's finish with this guy. Okay, or not. Cool, so pretty clean pick from victory there. So I think that's three attacks, so we'll come back and do another three. Let's see if we can do a fourth actually. See who we have left. I haven't used Nahane. Options here are Andana, Hardy, and I've also got a Centurion. Oh, lots of options over here. Letalis, Gadama, Henrik, all good options. All right, so I've got Andana 21-0 and Letalis at 20,600. So I need to go find a base that's slower than 20,600. Okay, change of plan. I'm going to put Centurion in instead. 25-7 Letalis, 22-8 Nahane versus 24 Tabora. So he's going to trade disable onto Centurion. And then Letalis is going to stun everyone. So over here, anticipation, nothing to stop stuns. And over here, there's a tough. Okay, change of plans. I'm going to run Kadama and Centurion. Kadama, 25-7, CD8 everyone. So these guys can't do anything. Bora will be CD8. And then my Nahane gets a turn, 22-2. So he can freeze everyone. I don't know if he'll hit Tabora, but that's okay because Tabora's already had a turn. We may or may not get him, but that's okay as well. And we will definitely get him. Even if we miss, they'll be CD8. So we'll just win with dots. Let's fight. We also have a lot of stamina drain. Oh, he's running the zero cooldown skill. Did not expect that. I still have the Mega Taunt on, so I can freeze everyone here or attempt to freeze. Or, or Mega Pisces, should, should I say? Okay, I think it all hit. We are out of stamina, but they're all Mega Possessed. 
one more mega possess here and one more mega possess here. So I'm just going to recharge. Actually, I'm going to curse to, to some dots. And some more dots over here. Recently, so immune to possess. Do this. And we'll do it. Oh, he had the zero cooldown. So let's do it these instead. Cool. So easy three coin victory. And we'll be back later with our last two attacks. I think that might be a European team. Maybe they're asleep at the moment. Okay, and we are back with our fifth and sixth attacks. It looks like we are in the lead. So we're 55-4. So five losses versus 10 losses. And we've done a few more attacks. That's so looking like we should be able to take out the win. So number five, passable. There's no stamina draining relics. As long as Nahane doesn't get a turn because he does have Masha stuff. So we're just going to go in here with a Steam Wrath team. So Steam Wrath and Ferris. And we've got an extra banner over here, but I don't think we need it at all. 25, 8, 6, 6, 24, 22, and 13. So this should be a really easy win. That's fine. We probably could have let Tabora have a turn, but I think it's just cleaner. Do not let her get a turn. So this is a little bit like those infinite gauntlet nodes when they have no relics. And as long as your steam wrath goes first, you get to get to kill everyone. So I've got 961 stamina. Because I'm running to Mr. Beast Banner. So this is the build I normally go with if I need to sort of counter say a pump feed stuff, which is going to take off 600 stamina. That with Jazzy Mask keeps me topped up. All right, so easy three coins there. And for our last attack, I think we'll take on number six, Katniss. So looking at this base, again, no stamina draining relic, except for the pump steed over on the honey. So that's the only thing we have to be careful of. Let's just get a base and outspeed it. We do have Shelly, we do have Black Feather, and we do have Tabora. So what we're gonna do is remove Megaton over here, and then have Black Feather either total blind or possess. There is a risk here that Hardened will trigger, and there's a risk here that Tough will trigger over here, but we counter that by having our runes and also a Shelly, that's fine. Favorite trip. Let's see who we can possess. So we got one out of two, which is all we need. Let's put the Megaton back on. Pull cool. Emma here. And then we can curse here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll put a trophy to protect Shelly. These guys are all frozen, so I'll just recharge. Protect positive on. And we'll just recharge. Let's try another possess. Get rid of all that jazz. And we'll put another one of these on. Get rid of Tapora. And the rest is really straightforward. But they go show. Cool, so we finally get back into the 18 coin club, or at least the start of the 18 coin club. Hopefully that helps you with your attacks. Good luck in the rest of your war, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out one of these two videos over here. And if you think Wabi Gaming videos will help one of your friends grow, make sure to share with them as well. And I will see you next time.